Okay, our most basic understanding of exponents tells us that the exponent is the little number placed next to the big number, physically large in written big, I mean, not value or absolute value or anything like that, but big, um, the base. So little tiny number is the exponent, the bigger number that's written is the base. What does it mean? It means take the number C, the base, and multiply it as many times as D says. So you multiply C, D times. It could be twice, three times, or whatever. But to help us really understand some of the more confusing aspects of exponents, exponents like 10 to the 0, and what this means, and um, let's look at a pattern. So much of math um, can be understood if we look for simple patterns. Okay, now, let's start with this large number right here, 10 to the 4th power. That's how we read it, 10 to the 4th. And this is called a power or exponent, so 10 to the fourth power. What does that mean? Multiply 10 four times. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. But let's write this number 1 in. 1 is always there when you're multiplying, but you don't have to always write it. Why? Because it never changes anything. So let's change our definition a little bit and just add times 1 right in the beginning here. 1 times c as many times. And we're always going to throw the 1 in there. That'll really help us. 10 to the 4th really means 1 times 10 4 times. So 2, 3, 4. Now this is 10,000, but we're not even going to solve it or evaluate it. Let's leave it at this, because we're looking for a pattern. Next we have 10 to the 3rd. That's going to be 1 times, and now 3 tens. Let's pause here. What changed from here to here? Well, here we had four tens, now we have three tens, and we still have that one. That one's not going away. Ten to the second power, still have a one, and then we have two tens. So first we had four tens, now we have three tens, now we have two tens. And now, in the next process, we have one times just ten. Okay, look at this pattern right here. The number of tens is decreasing by one each time. So if we follow that pattern of the number of tens decreasing by one each time, and now we have one ten, ten to the zero can't have any tens. But look at the pattern, the one is always there. So in fact, all that's left is the one. So here's an important aspect of exponents. Anything. So what we're saying is that anything to the zero power is one. That's a really important concept. On to negative exponents. So what happens when that little number is negative? Uh, what does that mean? Well, first of all, it does not mean that we have a negative number. It never means that. And secondly, what it does represent is division. So what I'm saying to you is that if you have, let's say, 4 to the second power, remember, that means 1 times 4 twice, because we're multiplying by 4 twice. So in fact, another way of looking at positive exponents is to say that a positive or abbreviate, exponent means multiply. Exponents are not normal numbers. That's why we call it, have a special name for them. Exponents really represent operations. Remember, operations like multiplying and dividing. So a positive exponent is the multiplication operation. So it makes sense then that negative exponent, which is the opposite of positive, means to divide. Okay, so then 4 to the negative second, well, instead of multiplying, we divide. Start with 1. 1 divided by 4 divided by 4. And this is what the negative exponent means. How do we think about this and what can we do? Well, one way to think about it is to solve the problem step by step. 1 divided by 4 is a fourth Right? You take a fourth and you divide it by four, you get one sixteenth. I like to think about these in terms of fractions. But is there another way of thinking about it? Is there maybe perhaps an easier way? So four to the second power is sixteen, four to the negative second is one over sixteen. Let's hold these in our heads. Okay, and we'll look at again patterns. So four to the third all the way down to 4 to the negative third.
Okay. So 4 to the 0 we know is 1. 4 to the 1 is 1 times 4. And that's 4. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 divided by 4. And that's 1 fourth. So notice 1 fourth and 4, we call these reciprocals. What's a reciprocal? Well, let's say you have A over B. The reciprocal is the flip, B over A. So what's our A over B here? It's 4 over 1. Every number can be written as over 1. Now, and then we turn that to 1 over 4. Reciprocal is like flipping the number. So let's look at the next one. 4 to the second power. 1 times 4 times 4 is 16. 4 to the negative second. Well, we could do 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 is 1 over 16. Or our strategy could be, what if I want to figure out 4 to the negative second is to say, what is 4 to the second? It's 16. Well, what's the reciprocal of that? Oh, 1 over 16. And that's what 4 to the negative second would be. Same thing with this number. 1 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So instead of going through the steps of figuring out 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4, I can look at the pattern and realize the answer has to be the reciprocal of 64, which is 1 over 64. So there is this pattern for negative exponents. And what we can do to solve for them is to f um, two steps. First, find the value of the positive exponent. And then, oops, and then two, take the reciprocal. And that's your answer. For example, let's say we had 10 to the second, 10 to the negative second. What is this? Well, number one, find the value of the positive exponent. Well, so if it was 10 to the second power, I know that's 1 times 10 times 10. So 10 to the second equals 100. Okay. So what do I do in the second step? Take the reciprocal, which means that the answer for 10 to the negative second, it's not 100. It's 1 over 100. So that's our answer. And notice it's not even negative. As I said before, negative exponents mean division, not negative numbers.